And of course, we got to talk about Norbit. Norbit. Do we? Ugh. I bet it didn't make three bucks. This shows you that America stinks. <laughs> it's did... a winning formula. It's... I don't care who does it. It's a winning formula. Dude. Take a black guy, put him in a fat woman suit, and you got comedy. It just shows you. You just throw a bunch of commercials on TV, and we're just a bunch of sheep. A bunch of lemmings. We just, like, walk like zombies to the movie theater. Norbit. Who do you Norbit. mean? Norbit. Who do you mean Norbit. by we? Norbit. What do you mean by we? The collective we. Really, we. America. Who, who went to go see that movie? Norbit. Must Norbit. see Norbit. Uh, they told me to go see Norbit. Has there been one unsuccessful black guy dressed as fat black woman movie? Has there been one that hasn't worked? Well, it's amazing. Every one of these movies is a gold mine. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can... Martin's done it. Martin. Martin. And then that other guy who's got a new movie out. Who's the other black guy? Cedric. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Perry? Yeah. Who? Something Perry. <laughs> Oh, Perry? I think it's Tyler Perry, the guy that... Tyler Perry. Medea's whatever. Medea, yeah, whatever. That Another fortune that uh. one made. And then you figure, ah, oh, the fuel's got to be out on this one. What? Nope. Eddie Murphy does it, and there it goes. 30, they just love black guys in black women fat suits. $35 million. Thirty-five. It's a blockbuster. <laughs> it's a blockbuster. Jesus. Rotten Tomatoes, which is the great, the greatest website to go to if, when you when these movies come out, gave it a nine percent good rating. Nine wow. percent. That means ninety-one percent of all the reviews coming in from all over America, all walks of life, hated this movie. Dunk. Hated this movie. It's it's beyond me. But because we're a bunch of lemmings, Norbit, Norbit, Did you see him? He's walking zombies, in a fat woman suit. It's got to be good. Must see Norbit. Must see Norbit. He's bashing through fences. He's so big and fat. It's hysterical. Kind of talking about Norbit. Must see Norbit. Norbit. Oh, we stink in this Number country. one. Number one at the box office. Uh, and the only reason it's number one at the box office is because they told us to go see this movie. They really uh, had some uh, publicity campaign behind it. The commercials were just everywhere. And uh, Eddie Murphy uh, nominated for an Academy Award for Dreamgirls. Yeah. And I'm sure even he was kind of like... Uh, do we have to release this now? <laughs> can, can we kind of do this after the Academy Awards? <laughs> but there it is. The movie, huge money. The movie just got awful reviews, but everyone yeah. uh, went and saw it this weekend. I just can't get enough of the commercial because when I hear the uh, guy uh, get on there and, and in his uh, fun voice, it's not one of those movies where you have to have the deep voice and talk about for, in a small town. Blah blah. blah. It's the funny guy, and he goes. Norbit, starring Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> oh, that little laugh in between. It's like, wait, it starts, but you just said Eddie Murphy. How can it, <laughs> how can it star on both? That's, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, and then there's just uh, some footage of uh, Eddie Murphy. But getting chased by Fat Eddie Murphy, uh, because Fat Eddie Murphy, I guess, is in love with uh, Skinny Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Is that the gist of the movie? Is, am Skinny I getting it right? Skinny Eddie Murphy is uh, Norbit, I believe, right? Is that Norbit, or I is the know. Fat Eddie Murphy Norbit? I don't oh. know. Skinny Eddie Murphy is Norbit. Skinny, okay. And then Fat Eddie Murphy is... The girlfriend. Mrs. Norbit. Mrs. Norbit. Mrs. Norbit, okay. Are they married? They're married. They're married. But they kind of go, I think they go back to the when they first met kind of thing. And how she says, you know, that they're going to be together, and and they eventually get married. And I think he tries to hook up with a hotter girl, and fat Mrs. Norbert gets mad. And, and sits on him? And that's when she does funny fat things, like runs <laughs> through fences. Nothing funnier than a big fat person running through a picket fence in a yard. Ah, I'm laughing here already. And, and, and leaving a silhouette of their fat body. Right. Oh, it's and, just terrific. And when they like dive for a uh, dive for skinny Eddie Murphy and Eddie Murphy, skinny Eddie Murphy gets out of the way and fat Eddie Murphy in the fat suit lands on like a picnic table and it just smashes into the toothpicks. Terrific That's again. Funny stuff. Fat jokes rock. That's 33 million funny. It was a 33 
35? What was 35 it? Million 35 million over the weekend. $35 million. Number one movie in America. <laughs> $35 million. It's a, it's a biggie. <laughs> how, how does this happen? Must see Norbit. Norbit. Ugh. Starring Eddie Murphy. And, get this, <laughs> hold on to your hats, people. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, uh, let's get a Ray in Jersey. Someone's suggesting we just call Jim Jimmy Norbit. <laughs> That's it'll make the show more money. I, don't uh, know. What Jimmy I do kind of find it funny, Jimmy Norbit. Let's go to Ray in Jersey. Ray, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, you saw Norbit, huh? Yeah, it was absolutely horrible. What was uh, wrong with the movie? Excuse me. What was what? wrong with it? It was boring, and there was nothing really funny. I came out of the movie theater. I asked my wife, did you laugh at anything? She said, no. How was it not funny? Wasn't the fat Eddie Murphy doing funny fat things where he was, like, crushing things? And It was any normal fat movie that there is. It's just it redone over, and it was just stupid. So why would you go see Norbit? It looked funny with the, all the previews. Oh, oh no. No, stop it. It did not. No, it Don't. Didn't. See, we try to tell you guys. We've been saying it for years now. Go to RottenTomatoes.com before you see some of these movies. They'll, they'll, they'll set you straight. But the commercials didn't look good. How could you think those uh, the movie trailer on, on TV, how did you think that looked good? It kind of looked like Nutty uh, Professor. Nutty Professor-ish? It kind of looked like The Clumps a little bit. The Clumps? Why not just make another Clumps movie? Do that. Clumps. Why Dr. come up with Doolittle a new fat eight. character? All right, Ray, you got nothing. It's up. Yeah. We're uh, trying to work with you here, play, you know, throw the ball back and forth, and you're just letting the ball go over your head. And now we have to wait as you go chase it down. Thank you. Ray and his dopey wife heading to the movies with their laughing hats on. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good one, baby. All ready for just an afternoon of good-natured chuckles. I just see him to his friend. Hey, you want to go out tonight? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to the movies to see Norbit with my wife. It looks hysterical. <laughs> Yeah, that movie looks good. All right, well, have fun. Thanks. Warfest. <sighs> I wouldn't even go see him. Norbit for this radio show. No. There are times I'll go oh. to a movie knowing that maybe we should see it uh, so we could talk about it on our radio show. Uh, a hotel has it playing. If it does, mm -hmm. no, won't see it. If it's on HBO, won't watch it. Yeah. Regular TV, won't watch it. <laughs> All right. I will never see Norbit. <laughs> Talking about uh, Norbit. Must see Norbit. Number one at the box office. Congratulations to Eddie Murphy. What was it up against? Anything like, was it against really bad movies? I don't know. What was number two? Uh, number two. Norbit was number two. <laughs> <laughs> number, number... Dannikins. Dan knows off the top of the Oh, head. Hannibal Rising. Oh, the, uh, that old gag. How many old. angles are, are they going to take on that movie? Not with Hannibal, we know. He's creepy. <laughs> Lava beans. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's creepy. Nice. That's a bit of an understatement. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes, we remember. Yeah, we yeah, get it. Go. How did that do on uh, Rotten Tomatoes? Much better than Norbit. Did it? Norbit made $33.7 mm -hmm. and Hannibal Rising made 13.3. Wow, blown out of the water by Norbit. Uh, Speaking of blown out of the water, yeah. is there a scene where uh, fat Eddie Murphy in the fat black woman suit uh, does a, a belly flop or cannonball into a pool oh, you and gotta empties have. all the water out? you got to have that shot. Oh, because it's, it's hysterical. you got to have that shot in your fat movie. Of course you do. That's, a, that's something we could do today. The cliche uh, oh. scenes that you need in every fat movie. Fat person movie. <laughs> you need some kind of uh, passing of the gas. Right, that's a big if one. If you're making a fat movie. That's a big one. And eating uh, an amount of food that even a fat person could not possibly eat. Right. And in fast motion. Right. Please do it in fast motion. Yeah, but with the special effects now, it really looks like that whole sub's going in. Uh, oh, now. they CGI <laughs> it. They CGI the... <laughs> The ridiculous amount of food going the, into the mouth. The pigginess of Norbit. <laughs> Mrs. Norbit. And they don't have, like, scenes that you should have in fat movies. Like, when you walk into, like, a place and you see a fat person eating sweets where you just walk over and go... 
Stop <laughs> eating that. Smack them in the face. Yeah, you just shame them. Where all your friends come in and, and you just start laughing at the fat person. Where's that scene? I couldn't <laughs> sleep last night. And uh, don't don't ask me why I own it, but I put in Norbit, <laughs> the DVD. Right. Well, uh... I couldn't I couldn't sleep for so long it started over again. And I was like, did I really just lay here through a lap and a half of <laughs> Norbit, <laughs> just just trying to get to sleep? And I couldn't couldn't every time just kept rolling over and seeing eddie murphy as a different you know in a different foam rubber eddie suit. murphy and eddie murphy and eddie murphy it's starring eddie murphy i bought it at blockbuster for like five bucks <laughs> you got robbed because That's... i thought i was like how i just thought it's got to be kind of funny no it isn't I, you're you're pretty right there on that is one. just nothing eddie murphy stopped making funny movies he stopped. Me and Danny were just talking about that. It was like, I think, Coming to America. But that was like his last but he, but funny not, movie. He's still funny, though. He is. Yeah. That's the thing. He, his, some of his movies but may not be doing. But he's still funny, man. What's he doing, Dude, though? He because had, he got caught up in uh, family. For some reason, the whole world, family's money. He, he went from adult when he was a kid yeah. to doing raunchy adult things. So right. As an adult, he's doing he's doing things like uh, Nash, not Nash Bridges. What's that? Pluto, Na Pluto, Pluto oh, Nash. Pluto Nash. And, and uh, Beverly Hills Cop three. And and uh, what's the one? The the, the he's doing Doctor Doolittle. Do what Rock is messing up doing? Yeah. Like Rock, what are you doing? You stop messing with stuff, Danny. <laughs> what am I I, my voice just scared me. <laughs> um, <laughs> something happened. Did you hit a button? Uh, yeah, something just happened. So uh, uh, The Rock is doing the same thing. That's he should family be doing stuff. Too much goofy. Fa mm. Rock should be some type of big time villain, man. To, that's what uh, happened uh, to Vin Diesel when he made that stupid movie the with duck the movie. duck. Yes, what was the duck and movie? Vin I loved Wait Vin, Vin until then. Oof. Yeah, I know. He was great. And Pitch, so Pitch the thing Black is, though, was great. How dare you Pitch say Black. that's what happened to him? Pitch Black was a great yes, movie, man. And, and and the Chronicles of Riddick. That he, was a good one too. This kind of hardcore dude. Dark as they go, uh, uh, heavy as yeah. they go, which is uh, what um, little Kim face. What's the guy that got to come back? He's made a comeback. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, <laughs> little Kim <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> his, his, his his only thing is gonna be. He should just play just heavies, man. Yeah, that's it. And he can't even play like like Vin Diesel trying to be the good guy hero yeah. thing doesn't work. Like you know in, what's Triple X? That, that, that's that, what's uh, going on with Eddie Murphy. Uh, that's what's going on with Eddie Murphy is that he, at some point uh, he got caught up into uh, family friendly, which is where all the money is, I guess. But, I guess, but when you see people uh, like uh, Ice Cube doing that crap, oh, what was he doing that m movie where his are whole you, family? Are you, are you there yet? And yeah. are you done yet? Are you where, home yet? Are you there yet? When they show like <sighs> him falling backwards off a ladder as he's trying to fix the roof. Yeah, that's good. Shut up. I think. <laughs> I think back to I like I think back to when I was twelve when I was I was a, such a big rap fan and Ice Cube scared me. He was hard I was afraid for. of him. I was afraid of him because of the, I, he just was he just seemed like the realest dude ever. Yeah. And now he's driving Gangsta. minivans around. Yeah. Or you know, or teaching but, but kids to play here, football. If one more hard tough guy is teaching kids to play here, football in a movie, here has I kids, swear to God, though. that's the thing. No one has. So I guess we won't understand. What Screw the understanding? I don't something know. I that mean, goes with like your your. I don't know. Your Clint Eastwood has kids. Who yeah. said again? Yeah. Clint Eastwood has kids. He still is. Yeah, but also Clint Eastwood can do anything he wants. So if you can do anything you want, I mean Eddie could do anything he wants, but not really. Clint Eastwood is, is a guy that can do anything he wants to do. Eddie Murphy still know, is. Ed you know, he's still at like. The only dude that can do anything he wants now is is Will Smith. Like he's the only person I know that can do yeah, anything true. he wants in a movie where he can play good guy, bad guy, dead, the dark. But I don't, and, you do you know. think he could? Do you think he could really go out on a limb? I mean, I think he's got a box office responsibility to fulfill here. I don't think he could go and turn around and start. Well, doing... Well, he made sugar. What is this thing? Chocolate? What? What is this last thing? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. That was like a, sugar a, chocolate. A, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell, is sugar chocolate. I, I didn't want to see it. It might as well be called what, sugar chocolate. That, that true diabetic would say that. <laughs> the movie is called Seven Pounds. <laughs> How much sugar and chocolate? Would I like? <laughs> I didn't. I have no. I had no 
Um, <laughs> I, I just had there was nothing in me to to see that movie. Yeah. Did it bomb? It was a bomb, wasn't it? Because it was it was a nothing movie. What was it about? I just exactly. I, I kept seeing posters for it. I never even saw a trailer. Some guy feels guilty about something, and gives up his organs. It's when he dies. but see, Will Smith That's is the end. The end. Will Smith <laughs> yeah. is bigger than the see. He's at the point where Tom oh, Cruise bigger. was. He's bigger than the movie's name. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just like. He, it's like Will Smith, he and then the movie. movie. The movie is in, is it doesn't even matter. But, he could sell a movie, but Eddie Murphy was at that point sure. in his career years ago, and he somehow I would say it was off. over at Beverly Hills Cop Three was when that was a wrap. Well, because he made Beverly Hills Cop Three, the guy mm -hmm. should have. Like, no, but he made he made Nutty Professor after that. Nutty Professor was all right, man. They had, it was good, but his he that went was the right. wrong direction. I think what mm -hmm. happened is, I think Boomerang. Oh. It, should have been the way he went. He was a becoming a older, smoother dude. There was younger Martin Lawrence was coming up and uh David Allen Greer was coming up. There was younger, hungrier, funny guys. Mm -hmm. He was more of a of a older, smooth funny and he should have went into that place where but he was he just tried like a, a failed. Billy D. Williams. Right, Boomerang yeah. wasn't a failure. It was a failure. See, Boomerang, Eddie Murphy should be having what uh, Tyler Perry has. Tyler Perry is winning, but he's. It's not blockbuster two hundred million. It's blockbuster just the black people. <laughs> that's that's a blockbuster to just have one group love you enough to make you the box office. Tyler Perry's movies stink. I can't so bad. I mean, they stick. Bobby Kelly said the funniest things. We were talking about Eddie Murphy, and he goes, Tyler Perry is trying to be Eddie Murphy. He goes, he's not even trying. He just puts that wig on. <laughs> he doesn't even attempt to look no, like a woman. But that's where Eddie, Eddie Murphy should have went. Eddie uh, Murphy should have went strictly black, but he had to go family. When when we chase white dollars, too, it did, if you make a million black dollars, that's a lot of money, but people try to chase a gwillion white dollars. Like, it's just... But why does but I think it's great that Tyler Perry is catering to what you're saying he's catering to. But why do the movies have to stink so bad? They mm. stink, dude. They're bad movies, Patrice. They're why are you? No, I'm asking. You, you, no, you're not. Don't flip up. You I'm was, not. You was talking to convince me. No, I didn't argue with you. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying why. I'm not a fan of Medea's this and they're fucking and, terrible. And, uh, House of Pain. I'm not fans of that. Sorry, Next sorry. He is. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not into that. I'm just they're not terrible. into that. They're terrible. Uh, Eddie Murphy, wow, lifetime gross is three and a half billion dollars. And Eddie's still funny. The donkey yeah. in Shrek is one of the funniest oh, yeah, things yeah. going on, man. Yeah. It's just... The well, cartoon voice things are totally he, different. He, he's just a funny guy, you man. You can't F up things. Like, even... He was like good we in another talking, 48 hours. Like, we were talking about good. Ice Cube and, and having no more street cred as far as that because of what he did. And, and it doesn't matter what you do as a cartoon voice. You could still be like... He still has street cred. D does he? Wow. he? He still has street cred. Ice Cube doesn't... Because if you're a fan of Ice Cube... You can always go back to NWA. Yeah. Because you don't feel like he was a phony dude. What you do now, you feel like he's he is 40-something years old. Yeah. Eventually, you do have to go through some kind of metamorphosis. Yeah, but he totally went like white man. Like it's he went that white here, money. He went people, from the guys he, he hated. People love Singing about the guys he hated money. as he became that guy. And then if you don't have any black money, I saw, I saw the biography of Mr. T., <laughs> wow. Once white people got done with this, then I got a mohawk. They threw him in the dumpster, him and his gold. <laughs> yeah. They just were done with you him. You know what? Because he went after white money. He didn't go after, like, it just wasn't like a niche where he goes, this money and these people, if I stay loyal to these people forever, then uh, it's like Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. he, he stayed uh, this, this kind of boutique dude. Yeah, yeah. He never really left. And tried to be a just like uh, a Steven guy. Spielberg right. guy. He was this guy, indie guy still. And he's and he's and he's and he's keeps staying that guy. Who else has gone for black dollars though? You're saying like uh, our, the the Medea movies do, but who else? Uh, Ice Cube did at first. Well, Boys Friday in the Hood and was oh yeah, Boys yeah, in the yeah, Hood, right. and I mean that was just that was a, a play. Kid and play. <laughs> they probably got millions from those goofy movies, but it was yeah. like. What I'm saying, white dollars. I don't mean white people dollars. I mean mm. family, yeah. like like the white that that's. It's not. It's a. It's not just the color. It's a, It's an idea. Yeah, I know. And, what you and, mean. and it's like the just to make white people comfortable 
It's like some of those movies, there's some white people who are not white, who want to see gangster stuff, who want to see these things. But it's, it's everybody go, look, Rock just decided to, I'm going to go, I'm going to make the game plan. He went from promising in terms of uh, his first movie thing, which he was playing as Warrior. But it's, yeah, Scorpion King. when he was in The Mummy, that's the Scorpion King that he did from when he was in The Mummy mm -hmm. to the to the one we actually made. The Scorpion King was the difference between uh, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. Mm -hmm. If you watch Conan the Barbarian, it was gangster. That was a bad movie, dark, evil, nasty movie. Conan the, the Destroyer was Grace Jones <laughs> and 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Will Chamberlain. And a lot of skipping. <laughs> and a lot of love. Yeah, you're and, right. And I'm yeah, sure yeah. a duck was in it, too. <laughs> a know, duck has to be in it for it to be. <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. Rock should be sick. He should kill somebody in a movie. But you know you know what yeah. you know what Rock did? Or you know, what Ice Cube did that exemplifies how cheesy he's become, unfortunately. Uh, with the, the Rock's not doing it, at least. The Rock at least went 100% in that direction. He's like, I'm going to be the kids guy. Ice Cube puts out Are We There Yet? And then still puts out a record talking about I'm gangster, I'm hard. And and, it, and, it, and it's the two things well, together. The they clash so Luna hard. Was on they his show. look at the movie and go, there's no... Come but on, man. Some really? people... I don't, I've never met Ice Cube, but Lou Chris, when he was on the show, yeah. he was like, I am the... Char he created the character rapper of Ludacris and, and the... And the actor Chris Atkins or whatever his name is, and the rapper Bridges. Ludacris, Chris Bridges, and then the rapper. It's like they create these. Uh, this is what th this is the thing. As you, the the longer you're in show business, mm. and and again the Mr. T thing, they said that Mr. T didn't continue because he wouldn't play that game. He made a, a zillion dollars off the back of himself, yeah. just like uh, uh, and and he had one guy <laughs> hook him up. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. He has. He had him cuff him. Said, "Man, make you clubber lane." He did that. He made a billion dollars off of himself. Yeah. And then, team. and then after he went down, and he had to kind of depend on Hollywood to keep him afloat. They go, "Oh no, 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 no! You didn't kiss our ass at that meeting. You didn't eat sushi mm. with us. Yeah, no, 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 no. You Come got on. to go. You I got told, to I go." I told the kids to stay in school. So when I'm saying black dollars, I don't. I don't mean black dollars, Jimmy. I mean just. Rated R to NC seventeen dollars. Right. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take NC seventeen. Why, why do I have to always have PG thirteen in my life? When, when I know, well, they do that. It's for the money. For the right. money. For the money. When you talk about Ice Cube, though, uh, it, it, it is true. He he tries to portray himself as still being hard. And the thing is, like, uh, yeah. you talk about Ludacris saying uh, he he invented this character. I never thought Ice Cube was putting on a character in NWA. That was like, no. you were scared at the thought of going to South Central Dude, listening to that when stuff. I, when I first heard Straight Outta Compton, oh I, my God. I really, I knew, I remember where I was. I remember, it yeah. Was, yeah. I said, who are the, I thought these were people from another planet. <laughs> yes. I was in Boston and I said, you're straight out of where? Yeah, right. These guys are horrifying. Patrice. That, it was the scariest it's the crap I ever heard. Same thing. Oh, uh, hold the hold the thought. Uh, Stunt brains. Stunt brain is gonna go gangster Stunt brain's on us. Balls is, he's just, he threw his ball at somebody's head. And, boing! All that rogaine he's been using. I'm gonna ruin it in one day by not taking breaks. His hair's falling out of his head. He's going nuts.